Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot and today we're going to have a look at a collective love reading. So this reading is for no zodiac sign in particular. This is for everyone who needs to hear it. And also if you have feel if you have felt drawn to this reading, um this is for you, okay? So let's check it out, guys. Take what resonates, leave the rest. We will see what we get. We got the Temperance card. Nice. Also, if you want to support me, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. That would help me out a lot, guys, okay? I'm uploading bi-weekly tarot readings for all zodiac signs, collective love messages like this, and the occasional pick-a-card reading. Okay, interesting. With this collective love message, I'm not asking for, like, a particular question. I just see what pops out, okay? And I will see which story we get. So I have Sagittarius and Capricorn energy already. Libra energy. Ooh, wow. Oh, nice. We got the King of Wands here. We got the Eight of Cups. Okay. Yes. I do think for most of you, this is about a past person. Could be, um, could be your twin flame or a soulmate. Okay, maybe you're in separation for some of you. We got the Temperance card, uh, which is for me as a reader is a sign for a soulmate connection. Let's see, bottom of the deck, Four of Swords. Yeah, Six of Swords. We do got some Air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Let me get out one more card. Seven of Cups. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm seeing is that you've been dealing with a person um, who was not ready for a commitment um, when you guys were together or when you've had a situation. Okay. So take it how it resonates. For some of y'all, this could be a situation like um, where you have been in a proper relationship for others of you that could have been like a back and forth thing or like a situation ship, right? What I'm thinking is that you have spent some time apart here, okay? Um, for some of you, maybe you were exploring other options or there were, there were several options for the other person involved, okay? For lots of you, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Libra, Leo, uh, Aries, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what I'm getting here most, okay? But um, it doesn't have to be, but these are like the main energies that I'm getting here. Especially like there's the Ten of Pentacles, which I really, really like, yeah. I do think this person needed some time to to grow. We have the Knight of Wands, from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands, okay? Four of Swords, Six of Swords here, Rest and Recharging, Page of Swords, um, I do think this person is going to reach out to you, though, okay? Um, they want to balance the scales, is what I'm getting here, okay, with the justice energy. They did need some time to rest and recharge, guys, four of swords, and you too, okay? Eight of cups, they've, yeah, yeah, eight of cups here, okay? This is like having, like, a deep look inside of yourself, um exploring the depths of your soul of like doing some shadow work okay and what I'm thinking is that even though they might have been exploring other options um maybe they have been like on a dating app or something like that or you have been on the dating app you just feel drawn to this person and this is vice versa okay they could have been dealing with some addictions maybe or like just toxic behavioral patterns they needed to break uh, through, okay? So I do think that this person has grown a lot. They've matured and they think with you, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? They will get the Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance card. There's the sense of balance with Libra and the Temperance card, equal give and take. So it might be that in the past, there was kind of like an imbalance for the both of you. Like maybe you were given into this connection a lot more Knight of Wands and this person was not ready to fully commit, right? But now they're the King of Wands and they do want this Knight of Wands um, in reverse. Yeah. I do think 
you guys, you need to let your guards down as well. Be more vulnerable um, if you want this connection to work out, okay? If you want this person back into your life. Um, and they will be m way more vulnerable as well, okay? They will tell you about what's going on inside of them. Um, you know, a deep look telling you what they have been working on here. Not today, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries, still angry. So we do have the four of swords. This could be your energy right now or the person's energy, but I do see the change here in the future. Then we got the boat, um, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Six of swords here. I think both of you tried to move on from each other, but didn't work out okay healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction i was just talking about that guys okay freedom though freedom from addiction oh the phoenix yes new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and changed mind i do think this is definitely somebody from the past coming back your second chance the phoenix rising back up again from the ashes, okay? So this person has changed a lot. They've been through a lot, okay? Um, they needed some time as well. So you guys, you could have been in separation or in, in a no-contact situation for quite, a, uh, for quite a time, maybe a few months, okay? Even a year, more than a year. Now let's see the Hidden Truth Oracle cards. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I want to tell you how I feel and this is going to happen. I know it was a distraction from your pain and I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay, so I do think that this person um, tried like different things to take their mind off of you, but they just can't, okay? Let's check out some Miss Rose Tarot love messages. They want to confess their feelings for you, yeah. I did see that as well. I am still hurting. So for lots of you guys, this person still needs to heal a little bit longer, okay? So this reading is timeless, by the way. Whenever you see this reading, then this is the right time for you. They are stalking you on social media. Or like stalking is a bit of heavy, like a bit of a heavy word, you know what I mean? Like they are watching you, and if you got them blocked, they have ways to find out about you. They are hiding their true feelings and they dream about you. Sometimes they stay awake thinking about you. So they're staying awake thinking about you. And they also dream about you. So you are on their mind a lot. Okay, very, very heavy energies here. Now let me get a few Romans angels. Express your love. Go ahead and make the uh, romantic gesture. And we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yes, yeah, so express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is what I have been seeing in this reading before, that this person is going to reach out. And they will. There will be communication. There will be clarity and truth coming in from this person. Also, we got they want to confess their feelings for you, right? And... I want to tell you how I feel. So we, we get like a triple confirmation that this person is going to reach out to you with the Oracle cards very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That means this person is going to reach out very, very soon. Sooner than you think. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So that's what I was thinking here, even though you guys, both of you were exploring different options. Um, I do think for some of y'all, this can come as a surprise, okay? Because they're very good at hiding their true emotions. We do have lots of swords here, okay? More of like the rational thinking, etc. Um, they can come off as very, very cold. And for some of you, this could really come as a surprise that this person still um, harvests those feelings for you, but they do. Um, you're like mirroring each other is what I'm feeling or like I got this intuitive message and whatever you're feeling about them they do feel the same way about you okay they do want you back they have explored different options like maybe you did 
but it didn't work out. And they want the Ten of Pentacles with you, the stability, the growth, the permanence, and temperance, uh, and the Justice card. They want a more balanced relationship. They want to balance out the scales. They want to give um, more into this connection than ever before is what I'm getting here, okay? So, guys, this was this week's collective love message. If you want to support me, please leave a thumbs up and you can leave a comment as well. And of course, I would be very, very happy if you became a subscriber. And I do see you next time. Okay, guys, take care. Bye.